Hey everybody, Matthew Barbie here with Perfect Company. Wanted to take a moment to show you our fabulous product, Perfect Bake Pro. Perfect Bake the app, Pro Scale, stainless steel, accurate to a tenth of a gram, connects wirelessly through Bluetooth 4 to your tablet or smartphone. Let me show you how easy the whole process is. Got about 400 plus recipes to choose from right out of the box. You can add your own recipes if you have a favorite, edit any of our existing recipes. All you do, select a recipe, hit bake. So immediately we come into the prep steps. We tell you what to preheat your oven to, how to prepare the pan, everything you need to do to set you up for success before you even start baking. Let's say you wanna make more than 41 cookies. You can scale the recipe just by dialing in the exact number of cookies you want. Now the recipe is set for 60 cookies. You don't have to do any math or think about it at all. We're just gonna make the default. So it's asking me for the green bowl. Bowls are color-coded just to make everything simple, but any bowls will work. All your existing cookware will work with the pro scale. Bowl goes on the scale, automatically zeroes out. What's my first ingredient? Chocolate chips. Hey, everybody loves chocolate. Got some right here. Right out of the bag, I just pour. No measuring cups, no measuring spoons. Speaking of measuring spoons, what if you have an ingredient like salt? It's a tiny one, right? Well, the scale is so accurate, it will measure every single grain of salt down to the very last one, up to three grams. There's my ding, I'm all set. That bowl's ready, put it aside, ask me for the next bowl. That's the orange bowl. Put that one on the scale, same concept. Fill up all the blocks, go through all the bowls, and you're ready to start baking. Now, let's say you're using a mixer. We have mix timers, speeds, which attachment to use, never miss an ingredient, never over or under mix, perfect results every single time. Now, look at you, you made cookie dough. What do you do now? Well, you go to our portion meter. The portion meter is so great. You put your baking sheet directly on the scale, automatically zeroes out. So a 20 gram cookie, what does that mean? Let me show you what that means. Give me a little bit of dough here, scoop it out right on the tray. That's a 20 gram cookie as far as I'm concerned. Again, automatically zeros. All right, cookie number two, let's see how this does. Automatically zeroed, come back out. That's a little big. Scoop a little bit of that off there. There we are, 20 gram cookies. So again, perfect cookies every single time. They're all gonna bake up exactly the same. So let's go in the oven. The app comes with bake timers, cool timers, everything you can need to make perfect cookies every time. No guesswork on your part. So at the end of 15 minutes, you got perfect cookies. To find out more, join us at makeitperfectly.com. And now we're gonna make some perfect cupcakes just to show you how quick and easy the whole process really can be. Well, as promised, we're gonna show you how to make these perfect cupcakes so you can see just how quick and easy this whole process really is. I've selected my recipe, I hit bake, look to my prep steps, my oven's preheated, I've lined my muffin tan. All my ingredients are room temperature, and so I think we're ready to go. So it's asking me for the orange bowl on the scale. Again, any bowl will work. Orange bowl goes on. What's my first ingredient? It is eggs. We need two eggs. Oh, great. Has this ever happened to you? But watch this. Crack my egg in here. And now, all I have to do is scale to this ingredient. I make nine cupcakes instead of 16, but they're perfect cupcakes, even though I only had the one egg. And who needs 16 cupcakes? I'm gonna eat all nine anyway. All right, sour cream's next. So again, little dollop of daisy right out of the gate. And we're almost there. And there's our ding. Don't be fooled by false dings, people. The scale is just too sensitive sometimes. Vegetable oil. Pour and re-pour and re-pour, and there it is. Vanilla extract, a little bit of flavor for our cupcakes. And last but not least, sugar. Sweeten it up. You don't want a lot of sugar in your cupcakes. Makes for good stuff. Oh, All right, what's next? It tells me what to do. I'm gonna pull this off the scale, and I'm gonna mix till combined. It'll give me a lot of little notes on what I'm looking for. Again, no guesswork, never miss an ingredient. That's nice and mixed. And I advance, we can use the scale or the app. Don't wanna get your screen dirty. All right, blue bowl's next, here it is. Put that on the scale, automatically zeroes out. As I said, you have not seen me use a measuring cup or a spoon, and I won't, even for these tiny ingredients. So I got my flour here, that's a big ingredient. There's my ding. Now these small ingredients, baking powder first. Again, I just tap it right out of the container. No digging through a drawer, no looking for the quarter teaspoon instead of the half teaspoon, just that simple. 
baking soda right out of the box as well. We saw the salt before, here it is one more time. Once again, every single grain of salt, all by its lonesome, and there it is. What's next? It's going to tell me what to do. Oh, I pull from the scale and dry mix. We just dry mix here instead of sifting. Want to make sure we get all the lumps out of the flour. What's next? Advance the old app. Oh, I'm going to combine the bowls. Take my small bowl, put it in the large bowl. Make sure you scrape nice and good. Get it all out of there. Now what do I do? Oh, I put it in I will mix. So I will mix to combine these ingredients. It says to mix until well combined, so I know what I'm looking for. Again, no guesswork. So I got one more ingredient to add. That's the milk. Bowl goes back on the scale. Even leave the whisk in. It's going to zero it out. It's not going to be a big deal. So our last ingredient in the milk. Pour that in. Wait till we get the ding. There it is. And again, what do I do? I remove from the scale and stir. Last step. So this recipe, like all our perfect bake recipes, come together quickly and easily. No fuss, no muss. Three times faster, half the cleanup, if not more. Now, I've got this perfect batter made. What's next? You got that right portioning, my favorite part. So again, my muffin tin goes right on the scale. Zeroes out. Boom. So, bowl has a handy little pour spout. All I gotta do is commence pouring. Cupcake one. And cupcake two. You can shoot for that black line, but really all you gotta do is get it in that green bar and you're gonna be pretty much all set, folks. And last but not least, number nine. I need to scrape here just to get the last of this out of the bowl. Come on, come on, come on, and there it is. Again, we're only making nine cupcakes, so we don't need these two. Off to the oven. And we start the timer. And there we go. Nine perfect cupcakes, all exactly the same. Hit my cool timer. 20 minutes, these guys will be ready to frost, or just eat, whatever you want to do. So, thanks for joining us. Hope you had a good time. And to learn more, go to makeitperfectly.com.